Sports. From this weekend's NASCAR All-Star Race in Charlotte to Speedways here in Wisconsin, race drivers and fans will have the late Dick Trickle on their minds. Trickle died Thursday in an apparent suicide at the age of 71. Though he did race in NASCAR, he had more success regionally in the Midwest, winning over 1,000 short track races, many of them in Wisconsin, including the State Park Speedway here in Wausau. Tomorrow night marks the season opener for racing there, and a moment of silence will be held during the opening ceremonies. Local driver Mark Mackesy remembers the legendary Dick Trickle. My dad raced with him for a lot of years, and uh, he just somebody we always, you know, we were always around him. So that was quite a, quite a shock. They've lost an entertainer. I mean, he was uh, one of the best. Uh, uh, he was probably was the best short track racer, and I think if he had gotten a NASCAR when he was younger, he would have been, you know, right there with all of them. The Speedway will also pay tribute to Trickle on lap 99 of the feature race. Switching gears now, it looks like the Pointers are playing its best baseball at the right time. They are the only team that has yet to lose at the Whitewater Regionals. And that streak was kept alive thanks to an 8-2 win over St. Scholastica. And unlike Point's previous two games, UWSP took the lead from the beginning. Pointers pitcher Ben Messenger lasted seven and two-thirds innings, giving up six hits and two runs and adding four strikeouts. Point now is one win away from a spot in the championship in Appleton. They'll face fourth seed Case Western tomorrow at noon. And fun fact, the Spartans and meteorologist Rob Dunn's, they have something in common. Both are from Cleveland, Ohio. St. Louis is probably the last place the struggling Brewers want to be in. They've only beaten the Cardinals once this season. Let's go bottom of the first, and Willie Peralta gives up a grand slam to David Fries. This one right down the middle, and he breaks his slump in emphatic fashion, his first homer this season. Then in the fourth inning, Aramis Ramirez line drive to left field, and bye-bye. Three-run homer cuts the lead to three, and then in the sixth inning, Ramirez would do it again. Lightning striking twice for him to make it a one-run game, but that's as close as the Brewers would get. The Brewers would lose seven to six. Last leg of the Valley Conference golf season. Wausau West's Matt Sanquist and Spash's Trevor Thomas tied atop the standings and on the par 5 eighth after just missing an eagle putt. Sanquist drops in the easy birdie to move him to even par. But Thomas is right there with him. He birdies the short par 5 as well, putting him at even. And the younger brother, Taylor Thomas, he sets himself up for a birdie that he would go on to make. Keeping Spash on the top of the team standings, Panthers win the regular season Valley title. And Trevor Thomas Thomas, by one point, defeats Matt Sanquist to become individual Valley champion. The Packers tailgate tour has spent the last five days visiting areas including Oshkosh and Toma, making several surprise stops along the way. And tomorrow they'll be at Witterfield in Wisconsin Rapids for a tailgate party that benefits the Opportunity Development Center. The event is scheduled to kick off at 1 o'clock and Newsline 9 will have complete coverage tomorrow. And also in Wisconsin Rapids is one of the best kept secrets in the area. But on Sunday here on Newsline 9, the secret's out. I'll take you into the world of central Wisconsin BMX where riders young and old have raced on a dirt course that's so hidden that it doesn't even have an actual street address. Again, that story set to air on Sunday. Really exciting stuff. Uh, great to how see. How did you get there? Um, someone told me and, you know, <laughs> just kinda, I'll, I'll let you know how to get there. It's across from a Home Depot. Okay. So I think everyone's going to be like looking for it now. Right. <laughs> Forward to the story. Secrets out on Sunday? Yep. All right. Looking Thanks, forward.